Hey, so this is my thoughts on Kubuntu 17.04. Uh, a couple categories I have here um, is basically ease of the installation, how easy it is to install this device, uh, this um, distro, uh, how uh, newbie friendly it is, uh, how developer friendly it is, um, the design in terms of how modern or old school it is, or how much polish is put um, in develop in creating the distro, uh, functionality, software, and also support, and then maybe some overall, you know, conclusions and thoughts about this. But um, overall, I mean, just like with any Ubuntu-based distro installation these days, are pretty much, you know, uh, brain dead simple. Um, I mean, if you had to do a double a dual boot, um, and you're a newbie, uh, you think you might run into some questions. But if you're in that situation, I'm just googling with another computer, um, even on your phone, you'll be fine. So obviously, installation is going to be like a like nine out of ten. Um, in terms of being newbie friendly, once you do have installed, I mean, that's obviously a loaded category, you know. Um, but the reason why I think it would be like a, it's up there between like a six or seven maybe is because um, the start menu is in the bottom left, or not start menu, but really their launcher, bottom left. And the default they have um, is pretty much, you know, like a, I actually have it as a, as this, the full screen frosted glass type thing. I have it as this, but I changed it to this because I really enjoy this way more. But if that's too modern, too out there, you have alternatives. And you can have a legit application menu that just, you know, you click on it, comes up, and it comes up more of a traditional, you know, uh, menu, like almost like XP almost. Um, I, I'm not even sure what the big deal is between this one and this one here. Like, I guess because it's, it's really centered on the bottom in terms of what you do. I guess that's the main thing. You just, and then also you just hover. No, you have to click on here actually. Um, whereas the application menu it's the top left for favorites and it's pretty much even super straightforward with this piece I don't even you can probably hear my computer just like kicking in I got an older computer um, so yeah um, that's in my mind that's newbie friendly because again my justification for that is most people are coming from Windows um, and maybe Mac too but if it's a Mac, then maybe different, not so much newbie friendly. So, um, but overall, probably like five or six, maybe actually now that I think about it, um, in terms of the initial layout, bottom right notifications, the windows come down here. You now there's no dock. Um, it's just boom. You know, maybe I should do that like a subcategory. You know, rate it on a Windows uh, person who's coming from Windows and a person coming from Mac. Um, Design, I mean, what can I say? I mean, it's KDE. They have great, I think, personally, they have an eye for design. I think sometimes they can kind of go overboard. Um, I mean, they're, I'm not a big fan of their default desktops. Um, but, I mean, Breeze, the dark theme. Like, I mean, every time I see a review or anything about KDE, um, uh, five point anything, I mean, everyone's using the dark menu. So, I'm a big fan of the design and the polish um, and I know when it comes to um, the subtleties like even these small little tiny icons you know on the bottom right here the login logout icons um, those go a long way at least for me you know um, when people try to be modern it's funny how they can just uh, they can nail certain parts and then completely miss the boat on others and so in that regard, I think Kitty nails it across the board for design. Um, 
when it comes to functionality, I mean, geez, what can you not do in terms of tailoring this thing? Um, for me, what I like about KDE is that it has a little bit of the new, and if you like the old school stuff, you can configure it um, for that too. So for me, I like the dashboard, you know, full screen application launcher, just, you know, boom, you're there. I type if I need something, um, and I'm good. Um, I, I don't know, there's something about the immer I guess because I have a soft spot for the immersive experience of like taking up the whole screen in real estate of, uh, of the monitor. Um, nice and bit, it's, it's a large, t it's a, the lettering is large and just kind of, I don't know, something about that. Um, probably because it reminds me of Unity and also it kind of piggybacks on uh, the whole convergence thing, you know, where a lot of times when we're using our apps, you know, just full screen, I would take, there's no bottom bar here or top menu here, it just shows you everything. So there's something along those lines that I think they're, um, and by the way, like how fast it is too, like usually when I use this on Unity, um, it's always, it was so sluggish, it, it'll hang, I mean, sometimes it'll, I guess when I first boot it up, it's fast, but then as I continue to use it, when I did the, you know, when I, when I pressed the launcher, it just always got sluggish. I mean, looking for files, like, took forever, um, sometimes from, from Dash. Um, the software, so functionality, I'll probably say, you know, eight or nine. I mean, what can you not do with this thing? Um, when it comes to function uh, software, uh, it's a mixed bag because obviously you're, I mean, it's a Ubuntu, it's a Ubuntu based distribution. You know, the, the software packages are widely available. Um, here's where it gets the biggest hit though. Discover. Um, Discover is probably, I don't know, maybe if, if it's you too, um, let me know. But from my experience, Discover has been extremely buggy. It wasn't that way at first when I first installed um, 1704, but after running a couple updates, maybe a couple months later, I can't do anything on this thing. Like I do one, I can get off one search on this for software and then boom, it freezes and hangs. It's to the point where I can't even exit out sometimes. Like even right now, actually, like, I'm, I'm so, okay, oh wow, it's a miracle it actually closed. Um, that's crazy. Um, this is where it gets, Again, if it's just me, then not, it doesn't matter. But uh, if it's widespread, um, and I, I was in the IRC asking about it, and some people were having issues with it too, um, but it seems to be t terrible in terms of functionality and software availability because not so much that it's available, but if I can't get to it and I can't install anything from the software uh, manager, um, then it really can take away from an experience if you are a new user. Um, from there, uh, I, what I did was <laughs> I, I did uh, use a terminal or uh, I actually installed Synaptic Package Manager. Um, and just for the heck of it, to see what would be any, if it had any issues, the GNOME Software Center. Uh, I just installed those things too and just, you know, between those three things, I'm gonna be fine. Um, actually with the terminal, I'm just fine, but you know, I just, I just like ha at least having the software center to poke around. Uh, sometimes I, I just peruse some software that, you know, that I might want to try out and test out just for no real big, no real reason. Um, as like testing out things. Um, so, so that where it, that's where it gets, cause it's, it's hit. I mean, again, if it's just me, then it's just me, but you let me know if you've seen that too, but discover is garbage and, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see if they fix that soon. Um, support seems okay, I guess. You know, you can find support online and um, different channels with RC or forums. Um, overall, I'm just... Um, I can't see myself going to GNOME um, ever again, really. Um, I was using elementary OS for another another computer that I used more often that was in my my bedroom um, and that was just I don't know I can't say that it was boring um, but it was just 
I don't know. I couldn't, it wasn't doing it for me. Um, so again, I like how I can customize this to make it exactly how I want it. Um, but you know, um, I think it's just a, the best blend of like new direction. But if I want to, if I don't want to go all the way where KDE is going there, you know, I can always customize things and keep it old school if I wanted to. Um, so, uh, I don't know what you guys think about, um, you know, the ratings, how would you rate these things? I, I for me, I know you might be thinking like, why is the rating system somewhat weighted towards a new user? Um, and that's because while I won't, I won't say I'm a new user, I would say that I'm a power user. Um, meaning that I don't program or code or I'm not a developer, system admin, that kind of thing. I'm not a software engineer, systems engineer. I'm, I'm not any of those things. I, I, I just love uh, open source. I love var these various distros. I love what it can do to old hardware, um, what it can do for a new experience, a new paradigm and in, in interfacing with your computers. Um, and having that control and security and stable stability. Um, and if you want to go bleeding edge, you can, I just love the options. And so, um, I just, uh, I'm a Linux user out of appreciation and, 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 um, uh, belief in the values uh, that underlie all these, all these things, all these distros, um, and so that's why I tend to rate, I tend to have that. And believe also, um, I think we're in a shift and a pivot now where um, a lot of these distros are, I mean, you look at Solus, you look at Elementary, um, they're staple and existing as being user-friendly. I mean, you had Ubuntu kind of like be a pioneer in that. Um, but Elementary OS and Solus OS, they're like kind of, taking it to the next level. I mean, Solus just cutting out all that server stuff and just for the desktop in terms of their ideology, uh, elementary OS just being, you know, you can't even right click on a desktop. <laughs> That's how simple they're doing uh, their, their, their desktop. It's like, you can't right click on a wallpaper. Everything's through the system. Everything's through the menus. So it's like, it's just crazy how the Ubuntu set the stage for ease of use, simplicity, and um, in some respects, we're beginning to see that take off. Um, so yeah, I have a hunch, no data, but from my readings and from my research, I mean, there's no big old test that you can do, but um, I'm seeing more and more people um, and these projects get more popular, you know? So that's why when I do the ratings, I kind of have it from that perspective. What would a you a new Linux user think of it? How would what would they think of it? And um, I think we need more of that to be honest. So that's where I kind of base this review. Okay. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts again. If if it's if this is kind of acting wonky on you, especially with this the software center discover, or if it's just me. Um, but. Uh, I'm probably going to stick with this one for a while. I've, I have, I'm somewhat close to try actually a uh, KDE, um, KDE's uh, desktop, um, but on OpenSUSE and see how they implement it. You know, I know for every distro, they sometimes tweak and customize certain things here and there, but uh, I'm not sure yet. The reason for that is just some of the backend OpenSUSE tools um, that they have that give you more control over your system. I mean, even at the kernel level, yes, um, pretty cool stuff. Again, stuff that I probably would never need or use, but again, I just like having it available and because you never know, you know. So I like I like uh, you know exploring in that regard. But um, this seems to be okay. Oh, one more thing is KDE, the uh, Caden Live. Um, that's something that. Uh, I heard it got a lot, you know, pretty pretty solid. Um, but I also heard that the most recent update, as of today, June first or second rather, um, I heard just a recent update made it really buggy though. So I haven't really played around with it too much. Um, but 
Yeah. So those those small things. If I if I uh, had something just to suggest to the KD team is drop some of the software that they have. Like they have these uh, really uh, out there, you know, uh, software that I don't. I'm not sure if a lot of people use. Um, they have project management software um, that if they're just. I mean, if there's a low level of engagement, they should really just kill that off. Um, and everything's going to cloud-based cloud-based software. So I mean, I don't know if if it's not super popular or thriving the community around that. I don't know who would actually use that. I mean, everyone's going to Slack and other you know type of project management communication tool sets. Though, take away anything, trim the fat. Basically, what I'm saying, trim the fat and focus even more on stability. Um, because uh, you got some other, yeah, you got other desktops and other, um, you know, distros that are coming at you, you know, with uh, with uh, various implementations. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed this review. Rant a little bit, but um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Catch you guys later. See ya.